All right, we got some breaking news right here. Russia's going to return to the gold standard. Vladimir Putin took a huge step today to stabilize the ruble by returning to the gold standard, i.e. backing up the ruble with gold. This rule was abandoned in the West in 1971 by President Nixon, and since then has led to an economy that is unstable and fake, based on the printing of money. This is an excellent move for Russia, except the West will only have one option now, to go to war with Russia and eliminate the danger, or try to assassinate Putin, as Lindsey Graham said the other day. This also comes as they abolish the VAT tax on bullion. So they introduce a bill into their state parliament to essentially move forward with the uh, backing of the ruble and to remove the 20% tax on uh, gold bullion sales person to person. So there's a good point here. Nobody around the world will favor a US dollar backed by nothing from a nation with a $30 trillion in debt versus a gold backed ruble. I mean, the ruble is sitting very abysmally at the moment, but it'll be interesting to see what happens from here on. But then again, the US dollar isn't worth jack anyway. They've been printing that much money over the recent years. When Muammar Gaddafi in Libya planned on a gold-backed currency for all of Africa, the West went to Libya and overthrew him. When Saddam Hussein in Iraq announced he would start selling oil in currencies other than the US dollar to avoid the petrodollar system, two months later, Iraq war too and they hung him. The US dollar being the sole reserve currency for this planet is why wars get waged and they can issue sanctions, etc. The US has been saying no nuclear war and even Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin saying yesterday, all this talk of nuclear war is dangerous, stop doing it. It's gonna change almost overnight. The currency has just been utterly smashed by Russia's decision to back the ruble with gold. What's the rhetoric about Russia from this moment on? You'll notice it ratcheted up to vilification like you've never seen before. They'll probably start accusing Russian troops of throwing babies out of incubators in Ukraine hospitals like they accused Iraq in order to justify going to war with Russia. And this is exactly right. This is exactly what they do. They demonize these people whenever they want to go to war, whoever they want to go to war with. They dehumanize people. They make it so sickening that you couldn't even think that someone would do something like that. Heightening your emotions and making people think that war is necessary, that it's the only option moving forward. And what does that mean for the rest of the world? That means utter chaos. You've seen the price of oil. You've seen other commodities shoot up practically overnight. If this happens, this is not good for the rest of the world. This means higher prices on everything. Watch this space.